write uncommonly fast, Mr. Darcy. You're mistaken. I write rather slowly. How many letters you must have occasion to write, Mr. Darcy? Letters of business, too. How odious I should think them. It is fortunate, then, that they fall to my lot instead of yours. Do tell your sister that I long to see her. I've already told her once by your desire. I do dote on her. I was quite in raptures at her beautiful little design for a table. Perhaps you will give me leave to defer your raptures till I write again. At present, I have not room enough to do them justice. Well, I think it's amazing you young ladies have the patience to be so accomplished. What do you mean, Charles? You all paint tables and play the piano and embroider cushions. <laughs> I never heard of a young lady, but people say she is accomplished. The word is indeed applied too liberally. I cannot boast of knowing more than half a dozen women in all my acquaintance that are truly accomplished. Nor I, to be sure. Oh, goodness, you must comprehend a great deal in the idea. I do. Absolutely. She must have a thorough knowledge of music, singing, drawing, dancing, and the modern languages to deserve the word. And something in her air and manner of walking. And, of course, she must improve her mind by extensive reading. I'm no longer surprised at your knowing only six accomplished women. I rather wonder now at your knowing any. Are you so severe on your own sex? I never saw such a woman. She would certainly be a fearsome thing to behold. <laughs> Miss Elizabeth, let us take a turn about the room. Refreshing, is it not, after sitting so long in one attitude? And it is a small kind of accomplishment, I suppose. Will you not join us, Mr. Darcy? You can only have two motives, Caroline, and I would interfere with either. What can he mean? Our surest way of disappointing him will be to ask him nothing about it. But do tell us, Mr. Darcy. Either you are in each other's confidence and you have secret affairs to discuss, or you are conscious that your figures appear to the greatest advantage by walking. If the first, I should get in your way. If the second, I can admire you much better from here. Shocking. 